My name is Greg. I appreciate you guys all hanging out with us tonight. What I have up here on my board is a free message for you guys. My friend Sam just shared a message about mathematics. It's something that, that we all know about. And fortunately, my friend didn't make any mistakes. But I have a topic that I'd like to share with you guys that most of us have had some experience with. And most of us have had some maybe mistaken experience with this or, or some tragic experience with this. And that topic is love. I mean, love is one of the most popular topics in the world. You just gotta listen to a song or watch a movie or a TV show, and love is all people wanna talk about. Some of the greatest songs about love say that all you need is love. Love is all you need. All that the world needs is love. But when I think about that topic, love, my question that I have for most of us here tonight is what is it that we truly love the most? What do we love and cherish above all else? And I think if we're honest, even though we don't want to admit it with our loved ones standing around us, this is usually the first answer that I get. This is the thing that we love more than anybody or anything else, and that's ourself. You know, we tend to cherish our body more than anyone else's body. We tend to focus more on our bodies than other people's bodies. We tend to focus more on our wants and our desires than the desires of other people. A great teacher once said, that if every one of us simply valued the people around us as much as we valued ourselves, the world would be a much better place. Unfortunately, most of us love ourselves more than anything else. But there are some people that love things more than themselves. And, and this was the next thing that I thought of when I thought of what we love the most in this world. I paint it up here, you should see it appear. Now a lot of people would like me to put the word money up there, but the truth is that we love stuff more than anything else. We don't exactly love money, we love the stuff that we can get with our money. We want to be able to get that bigger boat, the bigger car, the bigger house. We want to be able to get more and more and more. A billionaire was once asked, how much money would be enough for you to be satisfied? And he said, just a little bit more, because he wants more stuff. Some people dedicate their entire lives to working in order to get more stuff only to wake up one day and find that their family's gone because they were focused on stuff instead of them. Some people focus on stuff even more than they focus on themselves and they work themselves to death, literally. But when I was thinking about what do we love the most, I thought of self and I thought of stuff, but I thought of one other thing and, and I don't want you guys to run away when I, work, when I put this word up here because there's much more to say. But this is one thing that most of us, if we're honest, truly love more than anything else. And it's not a word that we use mostly in our English language, but it's that word sin. And the Bible describes sin as anything we think we say or we do that, that disobeys the word of God. Our sin is things like telling a lie or like valuing something other than God. You see, the Bible describes God as the one person, the one object, that is truly worthy of our love. And when we love anything or anyone else more than we love God, it's sin. And sin creates a barrier between us and God. Because my title that I have up here on my board is that God is love. The Bible describes God as not only a loving being, but as the very essence of love. God himself is love. And when we love other things more than we love God, it creates this barrier between us and God. And no matter how hard we try to get up to God, we can't. We're stuck because our sin blocks us from God because we're loving things or people more than we're loving God. The Bible tells us we have to put God first. We have to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our strength, and with all our mind. And if we are doing that, then we are truly knowing what it is like to love because only God is love. The Bible also tells us that God loved us so much that even though none of us are perfect, none of us are righteous, all of us have loved things or people more than we love God. All of us have sinned against God. God loves us so much. He sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, down to this earth. And when Jesus Christ came down to this earth, he showed us what it was like to love. He told us the greatest commandment is to love God and then to love other people as yourself. And yet, people hated him for what he did. And they nailed him to a cross. And Jesus Christ 
God himself in the flesh shed his blood on that cross to show us what love is. He says, not often will a man lay down his life for another man. Maybe for a righteous man, someone might lay down their life. But God loves us so much while we were yet sinners. Christ laid down his life for us. And after he died, he was buried in a tomb. But three days later, he rose again from the grave, proving that he has victory over sin. He has conquered sin. He has conquered death. And he has showed us what ultimate love is. And guys, Scripture also tells us that if we know God, we know love. And if we have a relationship with God, then we know what true love is. And the Bible tells us if you truly know God and love God, then you will love others. You know, I want to I wanna share with you guys something real quick. I just have one last thing before I go up here. This is my, my girlfriend over here, the lovely Hannah. If you wouldn't come, come a little closer, Hannah. Wonderful girl. And I, I would tell you that, you know, looking at her just as the world looks at her, she's beautiful, she's incredibly sensitive, she's godly. I value her more than I value anyone else. And I wish I could tell you that on my own I love her, and I, and I should love her based purely on who she is. But because I know God, because God lives in me, He gives me the ability to love her more than I ever could on my own. And because God lives in her, I know that we can have a right relationship with each other. And so, she didn't know this was going to happen. I want to spend the rest of my life loving you the way that Christ loved this church. And I want to ask you, are you married? for listening. I have some free literature if you guys want to know any more about how to know God, how to know the source of love, how to receive God's forgiveness. I would love to talk to you guys about this amazing young woman right here who will soon be my lovely wife and I'm going to dedicate the rest of my life to loving her because we both know the Lord our God. We can love each other and I pray that every one of you knows God and knows love and can love one another. Thank you all for your time.